we have completed adding this alternative harmony variation to our melody. And we're going to listen to it now. Good job. Let's do a let's do a recap right here. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your attention. This is a recap of what we've done so far in composing a ballad and variations in C full tonality. We took a traditional harmony that we had composed in part two and it sounded like it used these three chords in traditional functional harmony. One's called a tonic chord, one's called a subdominant, one's called a dominant. And the energies are rest and float and urge. And then we took time to explain how any two chords in a row give, tell us, tell an energy story. This tells a float story. This tells a rest story. This tells an urge story. And then we said we're going to swap these three chords for three extended harmony chords or variations of chords and our source for those chords was our our worksheet and we took time to explain how extended chords have different interval pairs like 2-2 two, two and 2-4 uh, and 2-3 Whereas traditional harmony has three, four, four, three, and three, three. And we picked out a set of those candidate alternative chords fr from here, which is a, a humongous worksheet that shows all kind of chords for the scale that we're working in. All kind of, I tell you. And then we, we left the melody line alone, but we completely swapped out this harmony cadence line, and this is what we get. And for comparison purposes, that's the variation. And then here is the traditional version.
So, when I hear this, I, I hear the melody. I hear the melody. I hear the melody. I hear the melody. The melody is what was going through my mind a month ago in my head. That's a very traditional melody, as we said before. It's in at least three traditional songs I can think of, only one of which I remember the name for, and one of which I remember the film in which I heard it, and then the third one... Blah, blah. But that... Why is it so familiar? It's because it's using... that. And so there's tons of other songs that use those three chords. So the interesting part to me is it's like taking the same melody and using these three chords. How? That's so different. And I'm saying this is like putting a little cayenne pepper or freshly ground pepper or nutmeg or some kind of unusual food seasoning into a traditional dish and what does it taste like? Does it sound, taste good? Does it taste terrible? Or does it grow on you? And... I say it grows on you. So, thank you for your attention. And as always, keep on streaming.